we just got back from FF Battle. It was a great event. What'd you think? You know, I really enjoy that event. <laughs> Super Street Continental Tires put on a great event. I'm glad that they bring it back every year and are always changing it. And we're at uh, Cal Speedway this year. We decided to up the tire size on the Integra to 17 inch in order to take better advantage of the Continental Extreme Contact tires. We hunted around for a lightweight 17 by 7.5 inch wheel and decided on the Run Light by Koenig. At less than 19 pounds a piece, this is a super wheel. They also came in gold. Bonus. Fun track, love the garages. It's always awesome to park inside. Makes you feel like a pro. But it wasn't without its problems. Yeah, we broke an axle somewhere between building the car and getting to the track, probably at the dyno possibly, or when we were driving around at a really low ride height on the 15s before we changed tires. Yeah. Typically when we uh, are gonna road race car, we usually use Honda parts to assemble the axles. I was kind of in a hurry, so we used some aftermarket parts to assemble the axles. That was a mistake. Uh, one of the inner joints broke. Luckily for us, we were able to get uh, an axle from uh, Loy Song. Did you run out of VTEC? No. Uh, fuck it. Hey, serious problem, bro. Unfortunately for him, he broke his vehicle, but that meant he had a car there with an axle we could use. Originally, we sent you out to get an aftermarket axle. Yes, which we learned the bar was not the same size as the axles we were using, so the inner tripod would not even fit on. Yeah. So we ripped off an axle off of Loy Song, did a quick rebuild, yep. and uh, got it back together and actually got out to make in, a little bit of track time. In the afternoon, I think we probably got 10 laps and max right. all together. So that was fun. The other thing that happened there too was the splitter fell. We have quite a large front splitter. We thought we had braced it well enough, but uh, about 100 miles an hour on the front straight, the nose decided to dip down and start bouncing off the asphalt. It actually sharpened it nicely. Yeah, now it really hurts when I walk into it, much worse than usual. And we had a couple of large aluminum brackets that we bolted the bottom of the car to support it. And uh, even, you know, reinforced, they bent. So unfortunately, we didn't get really a chance to work on the suspension like we wanted to. We wanted to try to uh, do some work with the sway bar, uh, maybe make some different settings. So we didn't get to play with the car quite as much as we wanted to. I, honestly, I didn't even, by maybe the end of my sessions, I was starting to understand where the track went and where the line was for the track. I mean, so there was, we did our best effort to get the car around the track quickly, but it's hard when you barely know where you're going. <laughs> so we did some uh, splitter support rods, yeah, which uh, seems to have solved the problem after driving the car on the freeway. A couple yeah, times. we uh, bought some APR support rods, modified them a little bit, and they are doing the trick. Yeah, they are. They're uh, working really well now. Car nice and rigid. I can I can stand on the front splitter, and I am a whole lot of man. On the other thing, we had a problem, which which was from the beginning is we're making a lot of power on the dyno. We weren't sure why. We're only about 225 horsepower. Come to find out after the event. The muffler was plugged completely, I assume almost completely shut off because it blew the welds out actually on the can and spewed the packing material all over the rear suspension. I thought I hit a cat at one point. It was really fuzzy back there. We saw that uh, simply by making kind of a race system. Uh, we've got about a two and a half section of uh, two and a half inch pipe with a muffler welded to it and then a turn down after that. It's a little bit loud though. It's a lot of fun when you're driving around the neighborhood late at night or firing up in the morning to go to work. The neighbors love me when I do drive it. And the last thing we had too that was probably not helping with our low horsepower numbers for the motor should have been making is we had fuel problems. Yeah, it turns out that at 225 horsepower, we were actually approaching 200% duty cycle on the injectors. And that really shouldn't have uh, been the case. We traced the problem down to a tired old fuel pump and we replaced it with a wall bro. And new K-Tune fuel system with fuel rail. All the nice AN fittings have really cleaned up the bay nicely. And basically we switched from a dead end system to a flow through system. So we're you know trying to cover all our bases. We may try to make more horsepower with this car at some point and that'll uh, uh, 
uh, make sure we're ready for uh, you know 500 horsepower or whatever we decide right. we want to do. We've got the fuel system repaired. We're gonna head back down to the dyno and see what it does. Yeah, and after that, hopefully another test and tune session so I can uh, start working on the suspension setup a little bit more.